Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. We are jumping in again and we are playing as one of my favourite characters. This time we are playing as good old Steroids. Steroids is always just a super fun character. I mean, what what can what's the not to love about dual wielding? Like, I don't care about accuracy down, I don't care about more ammo usage, just dual wielding, baby. And one of my favourite things about this character, specifically when playing modded, is it just grenade roll is probably a bad idea it's because there's modded weapons <laughs> and like there's a whole new opportunity with dual wielding new modded weapons and seeing what combos create crazy crazy stuff i love that like every single time i get to play like a new modded build of the game uh, with or, or like just testing out new mods that add guns in general my favorite character to play is always this fella because he just has such an interesting time with different weaponry. I mean, I, I, I tend to like to try and stick to one ammo type just because it makes the things a little bit easier with him. Um, it means that we always get that ammo type when opening chests or getting ammo drops or whatnot. But at the same time, he can make some really interesting and cool combos. I mean, already you're seeing the amount of damage we're outputting right now. I don't think charge shotgun's going to be too good for us. The amount of damage we're outputting is already pretty darn high. Like, look at that. Easy kill on you. And another few easy kills there. Blood bullet shotgun. Is that going to be a bullet weapon? Yes, it is. Okay. We can definitely go with that then. Blood bullet shotgun. I think shotgun and, like, long range is always quite nice together. Um, ooh, power craving could be incredible on this guy. When we get weaponry that are already going to have a modification on them, I think that could be incredibly useful for us. Also, another really good thing that I didn't even think about is blood weapons block shots. So, this is actually a really nice way to keep us relatively safe. Because we have the power of the other weapon with the safety of the blood weapon. And even if the blood weapon isn't hitting enemies, even if it doesn't quite have the range for that, if it's destroying shots, it's still doing a really good job for us. Uh, uh, triple pop gun, though. Triple pop gun is... That's, that's pretty amazing. I think we'll definitely take back muscles here. It's looking to be a good idea. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is... The ammo consumption is going to be pretty wild here, but because we just got back muscle and because we're only using assault ammo right now, I think we should be okay. As long as we get enough ammo drops. Getting a rabbit's paw pretty soon would be really nice. Rabbit's paw would help us out a ton, but we've exited that floor with more, more ammo than we entered it with, so I think that's pretty good going. Um, some kills regenerate ammo, that's another thing we can take to, to make our ammo situation a little less bleak. I know there's some rads up there, but I want to take advantage of the of sleepy time for these guys. Okay, we already opened this. Didn't really mean to, but we're going in here. I don't mind. It means the weapons that we find later on are going to be of high quality. We did get a modification on our pop gun here. It seems to be more rads, maybe, by the looks of the picture. I don't actually know what that one does. Unfortunately, uh, for this mod, at least at the moment, the wiki is incredibly out of date, so um, none of the new stuff, none of the new weapon mods and stuff have been uh, added, which means that unfortunately there's a lot of things that I can't specifically check what they do. I just have to kind of play it by ear and find out as I play, really. But like, just, just, just look at the sheer power we're outputting right now, it's beautiful. I did get hit there, but... but... Like, look at the amount of shots we're deleting on this guy. Ooh! And we just got another new gun that we would probably want to use here, the Hyper Rifle. Uh, and that got Weapon Drop, I think, with a Splinter Crossbow Lightning Screwdriver. We did almost die there, I will I will admit that. Um, yeah. This thing's pretty good. I don't know if it's quite as enjoyable, but it's very good. Of course, there's a crew chilling about doing his thing. Um, yeah, there you go. This should this should mean essentially infinite ammo now. Like as long as we don't miss too many shots, which honestly with the hyper isn't exactly super common that we're gonna hit every single shot. But still, pretty quick floor here. We should be completely fine. Double bouncer laser pistol. Oh, that sounds sexy. 
I should check what the weapon mod on that thing is, really. This uh, blood weapon is really good, but at the same time... Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to go with that. That seems really enjoyable. We also... I think we got explosive on that? I, I can't quite tell what that weapon mod is. There needs to be a library somewhere in-game where I can check. I'm just thinking anything bouncy is going to be really good to fire alongside anything else. The leecher. Okay, nice. That was a pretty quick flaw there. Ammo's looking fantastic. Um, firing with one weapon has a chance to give ammo to the other. More eff uh, effective when firing both weapons. See, this is a tough one. Because I I really want Strong Spirit, but Throne Butt's also really good. Let's take Strong Spirit, because we already have a lot of ammo regen. Strong Spirit's just going to keep us a little safer. Because this, this run feels like it could go the whole nine yards. This run's got a lot going on already. We do have a cursed weapon here, Flame Cannon. You little bitch. God, I hate Mimics so much. Let's go. Very short floor. We've got Little Hunter next, though, which is problematic, especially when we're not at full HP. Um, I'm hoping we can, like, clear a nice little little area to fight him in. Okay, there you go. He did the fucking... I hate it when he does that. You can't just land on me, you shithead. Dude, do not explode on me right now. Okay, thank God. God damn. Ooh. Wait. Oh! Super hot rifle. Okay. That's really cool. So, when we're not moving, the bullets uh, travel very slowly, but when we start moving, they speed up. That's really cool. I am liking this hyper pop rifle. Yes, please. Let's take both hyper weapons. Oh, God, it's corners. oh clear first. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm quite a fan of this. That was very close. I got way too close to that enemy there. Mate, who's the respawner? Where is he? He's not here anywhere. What the hell is he? Did I manage to kill him by accident, maybe? Quite possibly. The Toxic Dragon. Ah, there he is. But as you can see, ammo consumption is not a problem at all with this setup. This is the first sort of stage slash Bosch that could really do us in. I mean, I think we'll kill him very quickly, but I still think he could be a problematic boss for us. Okay, we got him, we got him. Little bit sketchy on the HP. Ammo there got ridiculously consumed as well. Uh, ooh. So now do we go throne butt? Hmm, this is tricky. Um, this is tricky because Rhino Skin would be quite incredible. Gamma Guts would likewise be quite incredible. I think I'm gonna have to take Rhino Skin just in case. I always forget about this one. Um, for God's sake, damn mimics. I hate them. This is the run that I'm just deeming get hyper. Not mimic this time. Good. God damn, I love the fact that these enemies are asleep. These enemies would be, would be such a huge pain to do actually. Okay, we, we did run out of ammo, but. I don't know. Should we... <sighs> we literally can't fire right now. Do we risk going to the next floor with these guns? I think we're gonna have to. It's it's a it's a huge risk. It really is. I 
I just want to say, if we can get a ammo drop off the bat, I think that starts our economy. And we should be fine after that. God damn, things have a lot of health. Yeah, once we start our economy going, we should be fine. As you can see, we're, our ammo is climbing back up to acceptable levels. Dude, some of these enemies have a lot of HP. It's kind of nuts. Okay, Eagle Eyes. I think Eagle Eye is, is going to be really good for us here. Just because the better accuracy is going to outweigh the accuracy down that we normally start with. Uh, as well as obviously just the, the slew of other benefits that Eagle Eyes now has with this mod. Damn it, I really need that ammo crit. Ghost Shovel. Ghost Shovel's real good. I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to go for Ghost Shovel as my secondary. We can also modify this with Splinter or Blood. Let's try Blood. Still not taking uh, any crowns for now. Fairhead's Fairhead. But yeah, as you can see, Ghost Shovel is a very, very safe uh, weapon. I still could die to this guy. I, I honestly haven't really fought this guy properly before, just because I always absolutely destroy him. So I don't really know how this fight's meant to go. I mean, I still don't really. <laughs> he seems to be a reasonably easy boss, but I feel like without the right weaponry, he could be terrible. Infinity shotgun. Oh, that sounds, that sounds appetizing. But I think we've got to stick with what we know for right now. Good, good. We seem to be freezing enemies sometimes. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna say our, our our shadow shovel has freeze on it. That's why. I didn't realize. Ultra Shotgun. Does this use rads? I can never remember. I don't think it does. I think it's going to be pretty good for us. Ultra Slugger, though. Ultra Shotgun or Ultra Slugger? I think shotguns may be better with the, with the better accuracy that we've got going on right now. Okay, no, we are using rads. We need to... Oh, Line Grenade! It's line grenade. Don't worry, people. We got line grenade. Or oh, the ultra flat cannon is also reasonably spicy. But line grenade. Oh, wait, that was cursed. Fuck. Okay, shovel's gone. I need line grenade. Line grenade's just the best weapon in the entire game. We also got ultra, uh, ultra shotgun, lightning shovel, golden glove. I can't really use this in the boss. I can't believe Line Grenade is a tier 9. Lies and slander. It's not even close to a tier 9. It's a it's a god tier weapon. It's so good. Like, it will kill this guy in like 4 to 5 shots. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Oh, I almost killed myself there. Level Ultra, let's go. I love that, like, le level Ultra animation. So what are our new ones? The normal ones are weapon chests dropped there, two of the same weapon. Um, ammo chests in... Oh, wait, is that different? Firing while having two of the same weapon slowly heals you. What? That could be really fun. Um, ammo chests include all ammo types. And then for the new ones, we've got... Right click fires your primary, swapping re reloads your weapons. What? I don't really understand that one. Um, more bullet damage. I think I'm going to go with the ambidextrous one. Obviously, right now we have a slight problem. Oh no, I was going to say we have a cursed weapon, but it's no longer cursed, so that don't matter. 
So now, when we open a weapon chest, we'll be getting two of the same weapon. And we very much want to abuse that fact. It'd be awesome to get double lime grenade, but I, I feel like that's not going to happen. So, we got the Ultra Seeker. Okay. This seems interesting. We got two Ultra Seekers. This could be bad because it could use, like, a ridiculous amount of rads. And seemingly it does. Oh my god. So, heavy machine gun, heavy machine gun. But now we've just got two heavy machine guns. It's not super interesting, but it's what we have. I think we could die here, actually. I'm a little... These weapons aren't great. I love the fact that now there's a lot more reason to go to these crown vaults because you get guaranteed weapon mods in them. I think that's really nice. You've also got the gauntlet thing. I still don't really want to risk my run on that gauntlet because it seems, it seems like it can be a little too risky sometimes. Swarm and lightning. I think lightning's the best way to go here. Again, though, I, I reckon we'll be swapping out this weapon very shortly. I'm going to be switching, switching weapons pretty often. This is definitely different, though. They've definitely modified this... Um, this ultra. Is it, it, I thought before it was, it was um, like, ammo chests no longer spawn, get extra weapon chests or something like that. I, I don't actually remember. But continuously firing slowly heals us, so we will be making sure to continuously fire. We got Snow Dragon and Snow Dragon. The funny thing is with, with this as well, they both have different mods on them. Okay, the Snow Dragon's not so good, but I have it now. I'll be going to the next stage. It might be good when there's a lot of enemies, actually. Hey, it's Mom. Do you know what? I was correct. It is very good when there's a lot of enemies. I now have zero ammo, though, and I'm very scared. Eh, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I'm, de I'm dead, I'm dead. I am very much so dead. I have zero way of dealing damage right now. Yeah. God damn it. Very fun run nonetheless, though. We've actually got enough time for another two. Exciting. That was a really fun one, though. I, I, I think that mute, that uh, ultra mutation is the one that I'll take pretty much every time as steroids. That seems really fun. That seems like one that could basically be guaranteed fun every time. Just because I feel like there's so many amazing weapons out there that could, be, like, hugely benefit from having two of them. Especially if you get the um, kills lower firing cooldown, whatever that one's called. Um... Let, let's take Thrumble early this time. Let's not uh, let's not leave it in the dust because um, we kind of saw that ammo generation, even with all the stuff we had last run, became a little bit of a problem. But then again, we stopped using bullet weapons towards the end. Then we had the uh, the cycle gland, so fair enough. Another screwdriver. We could have had double screwdrivers. I feel betrayed. Don't really want double screwdrivers. But we could have had it. We could have had it all. Doo -doo. Hello, big bandit. That was some bad hits right there. I really need to get rid of this grenade launcher. It's not a good idea. I think I'm going to take back the revolver. I'm still using my basic weapons, really, but honestly, they're actually really good. The basic revolvers are steroids. They can carry you through quite a few flaws. Let's take... Uh, actually, I was going to say bolt marrow. Power craving again, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go rabbit's part this time. I kind of wanted bolt marrow just because it could be really good with double crossbows. We've got no guarantee that we'll get double crossbows anytime soon, so it's kind of like... It could be really good, but it's kind of chasing good after bad, really. Excuse me, excuse me. Fuck down here, these rats. They just slip past you so easily. Do, 
good. We leveled up there as well. Okay, so Frost Machine Gun's good, because that is now not only an assault ammo using thing, but we get a bit of freeze. Uh, Alkaline Saliva is very good. Yeah, we'll take Alkaline Saliva. That's something that would have been really nice. I feel like Alkaline Saliva is kind of like having um, Saving Grace a little bit, kind of like having that extra, extra bit of health, because there's a lot of things later on in the stages that can insta-kill you. So having like one free hit, it's like it's like having Holy Mantle but better from Isaac. It's kind of what it, what it reminds me of. I'm liking the freezing power that we've got going on right now. And we'll take the Assault Slugger as well. The Assault Slugger is likely to be a very bad choice. Just because it's likely to um, run out of ammo incredibly quickly. But I will take it nonetheless. I'm looking for back muscles now, kind of. Get rid of all those cars. Good thing about the Assault Slugger, the shots do bounce bounce around a fair amount, meaning that you get a little more use out of them than just the initial shot. Even if there is an enemy nearby, they can bounce a decent distance and end up getting you an additional kill. Blood Shotgun, we, we proved that that was really good last time. Let's take that on. Ooh. This is a very different blood shotgun than I had before. I think I had a, the blood assault shotgun last time. Let's take this again. Bit of safety. It's frozen. Can't do much when he's frozen. Although he can apparently still uh, fire missiles when he's frozen. Which is a little scary. I'm liking the blood shotgun. It's very short range, but it's very strong. Hey, you can't spew fire when you're frozen. That makes literally no sense. That's illegal where I'm from. Frost flat cannon. Okay, we're going full frosties. Frosty the snowman is in business. Oh, they both use the same ammo as well. Wasn't expecting that. Thought the Frost Flat Cannon would be a shotgun, but I was mistaken. I, I, do you know? So, one thing I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, or one thing I'm noticing, is I thought the Frost Effect was a little better than it actually is. I think what it does is it just holds the enemy in place. It doesn't actually stop them from firing or attacking. It just stop them from moving, which for some enemies is actually pretty good, but a lot of them it's it's kind of worthless. Um, let's go with Scarier Face. We're kind of dealing quite low damage right now with the setup we've got going on, so buffing that up a little is quite nice. Yeah, as you can see, we're kind of like I don't know, the flat, the flat cannon is, is pretty good, but our damage is, is not so great right now. It'd be nice if we could do a little more, so hopefully we can get some better weapons here. I kind of want to eagle eye again just to see the quality of weapons. I think when you're playing a new mod, especially of something like Ultra Mod that's quite big, having something like, um, back muscle there, having something like um, eagle eye to tell you what weapons are good and what aren't, it's pretty nice. Although we have seen with like the line grenade that they don't, they're not super truthful. <laughs> Some weapons are significantly better than the game thinks they are. Right, what we got in here? The Leecher. Let's give the Leecher a go. Yeah, Leecher's pretty good. In we go. Steroids could do push-ups forever. I imagine he could. His muscles are quite hefty. Also, I'm just really looking forward. We've got a lot of new uh, Nuclear Throne viewers, at least I think, because the views are quite high on the Nuclear Throne videos as of late, so thank you for that. But I also am just very looking, very much looking forward to people seeing steroids. The steroids 
Uh, the thumbnail for him looks awesome. I'm just going to pause one sec. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. But yeah, I think the Leecher might be okay, but I I definitely want um some Herming. Ooh. Uh, let's take the Mega Laser Cannon here, just to fight... What's his name? Where are you? There you go. We got him. Little bit of a tricky one there, but we got him. Yeah, I think the something like the Mega Laser Cannon is going to be a little bit better. Although the ammo type isn't great, energy and crossbow is like a pretty wild ammo type pairing. I think it could work. It's interesting, at least. The Doom Launcher. Isn't the Doom Launcher the thing that launches the little babies? Yeah, it is. I love this thing. It launches like little, little sort of kids that just run after things and kill them. I think it's awesome. I think it is explosive, so I have to be a little careful. But for the most part, the little fellas are going to do most of the work for us here. Which I very much appreciate. Like, look, look at him. Look at him go. Oh, wait. That, that explosion didn't even hurt me. That was, like, right on me, too. So maybe they, they do explode, but it doesn't deal damage to me. That'd be awesome. Anyways, let's ca carry on pushing through. Laser sword here. So I don't know how well we are, how, how well equipped we are for this guy. I think explosives, yeah, as I was going to say, I think explosives are pretty good against this guy. So hopefully decently well equipped. I think this Doom Launcher is going to be really strong. It seems very, very good so far. We've got the Super Director Slugger as well, which honestly I think I'll take. Super Director Slugger seems like it could be pretty top tier. Just if we if we just spam it to make sure um, it does the the speed up in the direction we want to fire it. What's this? Spiral Disc Yo-Yo Gun. Yeah, because the direct weapons... Oh my god, that was quick. The direct weapons have that thing where the... Um, they kind of speed up when we when we double-click. Ooh, Rage would be interesting here. Um, shotgun shoulders would be pretty interesting too. I think what, what, what we've what we got going on right now, I'm actually very inclined to try out... Yeah, shotgun shoulders is ace. Having the slugs stay around a little longer. Very interesting. I think Shotgun Shoulders is, is a really fun mute that doesn't really get enough love. It can be so good. It's just, it, it's, it's one of those ones where it's for, it's for a weapon type that doesn't really scale into the end game in vanilla. So you very rarely want to pick it up because it's kind of a waste of a mute if you're trying to loot. Uh, there, there, obviously there's like the Ultra Shotgun and stuff that you could use, but a lot of the time, some of the vanilla weapons, you're not really going to get much. into here. I could go negative, but I, I kind of want to go Throne Vault, because the more Throne Vaults we go through, the higher quality weapons are going to drop, because uh, of the way scaling works in this game. Um, modify with Bouncer, Modify with Kraken. I think Kraken's the best one to go for here. There you go. Here we go. Okay. It's always weird when you, like, enter a stage and it's a little bit empty. We got the Cheshire Cat. I wonder why they decided to add Cheshire Cat. <laughs> like, no offense, I, I kind of, I like it as a boss, but it seems like very peculiar theming. I'm not quite sure where that came from. Uh, we'll go with this again. And we're about to get our Ultra again here, which makes me a little sad. I think I'm, I think I'm not going to take, um the mute that I was talking about, even though I really like it, because I actually love this setup we've got going on here. I almost killed myself. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyways, we'll end off the video there. A little bit of a short one than the past few have been, but that was very fun. Steroids is a blast of a character, and especially on this fantastic mod. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.